The Biden administration has just announced a new law that will change how you fly on airplanes forever. This is hands down some of the best news that I've ever heard for consumers in a really long time. The Biden administration teamed up with the Transportation Safety Administration to create a new law that went into effect on April 24th of 2024. Now this law is major and groundbreaking because it's now giving consumers rights anytime that they're going to book a flight with any airline in the United States or if it's an international flight that's also gonna leave the United States. Airlines. Were have no choice and they will have to issue you a full cash refund if your flight is canceled or delayed. This is groundbreaking because for years, for decades, consumers have been at the mercy of airlines when their flights are canceled, delayed, or they just get bumped off of a plane for no reason. I was a great example of that. I actually got stuck in Minneapolis, but I'm not going to lie. Delta actually stepped up and they rebooked my flight for the next morning and they got me an actual hotel stay. Now, I wasn't happy happy that the fact that I had to stay in Minneapolis another night because I actually had a lot of work to take care of that night and then the next day so it really did delay me but Delta did step up and they actually got me a free hotel room and they gave me some food vouchers each food voucher was like for 15 bucks and I'm like yo who can eat a meal for like 15 dollars nowadays like is Delta like behind the time still nevertheless Delta stepped up and they did do something for me. But for the longest time I can remember, you literally had to purchase an actual refundable ticket so you could book an actual regular flight. Let's say hypothetically, I'm going coast to coast, a thousand dollar flight was gonna be another additional 300 or $400 if I wanted to make it a refundable ticket, making it cost me more money just to protect my actual flight. Well, guess what? Those days are over and done with. Let's take a look at how this is actually gonna work. Passengers must now get automatic cash refunds when a flight is canceled for any reason or delayed by more than three hours for domestic flights, more than six hours for international. This is amazing. You heard him correct for any reason. It doesn't matter if it's something with the plane or if it's the actual weather. It doesn't matter the reason. And this is a huge deal because it used to be, you know, oh, well, you know, it was the actual weather thing. So it has nothing to do with us. So we can't actually issue you a refund or they would love to try to give you a voucher to use on another flight and then now you're stuck in a different airport and guess what you spent money on that flight and now you have to spend more money to actually book another flight this is why it's groundbreaking because you are going to be given a cash refund or if you choose that you want it back on the same credit card where you booked it or like i said you get a automatic cash refund that is huge because if you're stuck in another airport and your flight got canceled now you have to rebook another flight they give you that cash and you can go instantly go book another flight with zero issues and it doesn't cost you any extra money this should have happened a long time ago but i'm happy to say and i'm glad to know that it's actually going into effect now but this new rule doesn't just stop there there's more to it also now let's take a look at all the other reasons that the airlines are actually going to have to give you a cash refund if the airline changes any of your airports adds connections downgrades your seat or even changes the plane to one that's less accessible to those with disabilities those are all new reasons for cash refund now my favorite one there is changes to seats. Now I've heard people talk about this and say that it's actually happened to them where they were actually bumped out of first class and into comfort on a different actual level of a different plane. And I'm like, yo, I've never had that happen. How does that even happen? Imagine you book a first class ticket and then they bump you out of first class into like the comfort or the extra leg room area. Like how or why does that even happen? Because airlines love to overbook flights and it's not an uncommon thing. So now the airlines are going to have guarantee you a seat that's right I said it guarantee you an actual seat so if they sell you the seat guess what it's yours they can't bump you off and they can't actually downgrade you. My big question is how many of these budget airlines are going to go under and how many of these airlines are going to be able to actually weather the storm and be able to give all of these actual consumers refunds when there's bad weather that's happening, when there's major delays. Like this is a huge deal for the airline industry. They're probably running scared right now trying to figure out what they're gonna do because again, they've been able to do whatever they want to for decades. 
Last part's the most important. But wait, there's actually more. This is crazy that there's actually more to this. Let's take a look at what he's got to say. Check bags aren't delivered within as little as 12 hours or your Wi-Fi doesn't work. You're entitled to refunds there too and you should get that money back within seven business days. Now, I've got now the check bag thing has me really questioning exactly how they're gonna handle this. Now they're talking about a check bag. You're going to be issued a full cash refund if it is delayed for more than 12 hours and it is not delivered to you in your hand. So that's a huge problem because this happens more than you can ever imagine. Now, I've been very blessed that it's never happened to me, thank God, because I can only imagine getting somewhere and your bag's not there with all your belongings. That's crazy. So my question here is, we don't have the answer yet, and I hope that they clarify this, but what are you going to do and how are you going to refund people? Is it based on if you actually paid for that check bag or is it based on what's the actual belongings that were inside of that bag? Because people like myself that carry camera equipment and different types of equipment inside my bag when I travel, if they lose that, that's a lot of money. I usually insure my actual flights because of that, but in the situation of this right here where they're gonna give you a refund if they don't give you your bag in 12 hours, what's gonna be the determining factor of how much they're going to actually pay you? And the other one where Wi-Fi doesn't work. So if you're on a flight and you actually pay for Wi-Fi or in-flight entertainment, you're paying for a movie and for whatever reason it doesn't play. That actually happened to me once. I was like, yo, why is this not playing? And of course, the stewardess was like, oh, I don't know. Like, there's nothing I can really do. It's some kind of glitch or something maybe. So I paid for it. Then I couldn't watch it. This was way back in the day. That tells you how long ago it was. But also when I've gotten to other flights, the actual Wi-Fi didn't work after I paid for the pass. And I'm like, yo, how do I fix this? And they're like, oh, I don't don't know like they try to take my phone try to figure it out then I was stuck on a flight for three hours and I couldn't actually do any work but I paid for the actual Wi-Fi so if the Wi-Fi doesn't work or any in-flight entertainment they have to issue a full cash refund this is huge and this is groundbreaking for consumers that travel or even if you're just gonna travel one time at least you're going to have now the peace of mind that if your flight gets canceled or, or delayed or there's a major issue you will in fact get a refund and you do not have to pay for a refundable ticket Ticket. I'm just so glad that that scam is gonna end finally because that is the biggest scam of all scams You have to pay for a refundable ticket now Of course as I stated this went into effect on April 24th of 2024 But the airlines will have six months to put this into action and get their act together If not, they're gonna be penalized so right before the biggest time of travel Which is around Thanksgiving and Christmas this law is going to roll out and you are going to have all of your flights protected I'm not not gonna lie the Biden administration has been working really hard to go after all these types of different junk fees with banks now consumer rights flights and all types of other consumer issues that have been happening but is it a little too late for Uncle Joe is a real big question right let's keep it real everybody because things haven't been great in the economy and if we're on the topic of getting rid of junk fees can we please work on getting rid of the actual hotel junk fee like when you book a hotel and let's say it's a hundred bucks a night and then you you see that there's an actual hotel fee for another 50 bucks you're like what what is a hotel fee what why am i paying a hotel fee or my favorite a resort fee because if you're going to be staying at a really nice resort you'll get hit with a hundred to 150 dollar resort fee when you're there for a full week you're like damn i mean they're just tacking on extra money for no reason i believe that needs to be handled too uncle joe why don't you go handle that also for us if you enjoyed this video we covered a big breaking story how uncle joe is actually doing something right finally and protecting consumer rights rights now make sure that you watch the next video because it is about a new law that went into play and is going to affect all actual 1099 contracted workers if you felt that i brought you some value in this video make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score